soldiers in armored personnel carriers, those manning artillery units, and many more drawn from other divisions of the Kenya Defense Forces have been combing through the thickets and caves in the northern part of Kenya's Rift Valley region. They have hundreds of kilometers of harsh and largely wild terrain to cover. It is a region struggling with widespread poverty, the effect of climate change and increased banditry cases. The Kenyan army is taking part in a joint security operation being carried out by the Kenyan government aimed at driving bandits out. Kenya's interior minister has expressed optimism that this operation will flush out the bandits from their hideouts and bring to book those who finance them and even those who buy stolen animals. We have conclusively established and zeroed on the key suspects in terms of those who have been commanding the terror gangs in this area. We have their names, we have their profiles, and we are going for them. Bandits have killed more than 100 civilians and 16 police officers in the affected region in recent months. Experts say the hardship people here face breeds hardcore bandits. We share common borders with other neighboring communities or countries, uh, say Uganda, say Somalia, and, and it stretches all the way to other regions that have been affected by um, uh, situations of war or strife or conflicts of sorts. So you are thinking availability of either weapon systems that can be used as a means to seek uh, survival in one way or another. The operation comes after Kenya's President William Ruto ordered the army to restore peace in the region. The Interior Minister says security agencies have identified vast stretches of valleys used as hideouts by bandits. These thugs have invited the government to take the war to their hideouts in remote forests, caves, ravines, gorges, and escarpments. Bandit groups have been carrying out multiple attacks in the counties of Baringo, Trukana, West Pokot, Samburu, Elgeo Marakwet, and Lake Kipia in Kenya. They steal livestock, maim, and kill villagers and security officers alike while destroying key infrastructure like schools and hospitals. Although the villagers know where bandits are, they often fear speaking up. They worry about reprisals. These bandits are not just holed up in the escarpments and gorges alone, but they have invited people who appear to be unarmed civilians. The government wants to disarm local communities as it tries to end insecurity in the affected regions. Many local communities in the counties listed by the government have guns, a situation that is said to have led to increased cases of cattle rustling and killings. Locals claim that they need guns to protect their families and livestock. But security experts argue that securing northern Kenya will take more than just disarmament drives. We can trap a narrative into this region and say, hey, there's schools in the neighborhood. There's actually better roads. Uh, there's a police station here. There's that hospital right there. Uh, there's a military camp. Well, the military is actually training around here, and your children can also get recruited into the system. Locals in the region targeted in the latest operation have been fleeing their homes, saying they fear being roughed up by security personnel. But the government has assured them that the soldiers are only after the bandits and cattle rustlers. Enoxicolia, CGTN.